Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's exciting episode featuring Bob the Sign Man. Today, we're going to be making transfer tape simpler. Stay tuned. You do not want to miss this episode. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. Today, we're going to be doing transfer tape application. Uh, and when I make signs, that's probably the, my least favorite thing to do is to put on the transfer tape. Um, sometimes, like today, I am making these no parking signs. They're R26. They'll look like this. They're a 12 by 18 inch blank. And I'm able to lay out six at a time on a 36 inch sheet of the DC film. And they're going to go over a diamond grade um, blade for backing, whatever you want to call it, a sign blank, or whatever. So I cut it out of the red EC. And when you get down to the end of your roll of EC, like I'm almost out now, and putting on the transfer tape can be a real bummer. You can see how I have these areas where it just kind of rolls. So I made these d deals where I can pull out the transfer tape, kind of like a scotch tape dispenser. But these rolls are really hard to work with. I find them hard to work with anyways. So what I've done is I've come up with a way to... Um, just looking here, I forgot to pull out one of the letters here, the A and the... Anyways, um, I find it kind of hard to do sometimes, and if I ever going to ruin a sign, it's usually going to be, before I even try to apply it to the sign blank, it's going to be in the transfer tape. Sometimes the tape, pull it out, and it sticks too soon, you drop it too soon, these edges are curled up. So I, I've kind of come up with the way, I've seen a few people do it different ways, and I've tried experimenting on a way, so i come up with a way that kind of works for me, and I'd kind of like to show it to you. Okay, I'll show you what I, how I set it up first to start with. I buy these uh, pre-mask tape from 3M. It's, they call it transfer tape, pre-mask, whatever. Anyways, it's in a 36 inch roll. So what I do, I like working from the opposite side or the table side, I guess you'd call it. So what I do, I'm just gonna see how I have the, the sticky edge goes down here and it's, it's up facing towards me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to drop it over on the other side. I'm going to reach under and I'm going to pull out some of the tape so I can get. I pull out not a fair amount, maybe eight, 10 inches, maybe a foot or so. And you, I have lines over on the other side where I, I have my um, tape lined up even in the center of the roller. I have a 48 inch roller. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drop my tape, or my uh, roller, onto the tape. And then what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna bring this roll back on this side, so I still have a little bit of tape sticking out so I can pull this out and it'll roll in. Now the important thing to do is always adjust your table pressure. When I'm applying transfer tape, I'm going to adjust my table right now. I want to apply it at about 30 pounds. You don't need a whole lot. I think that's where a lot of mistakes can be made. Once I started learning how to adjust my air pressure, I've had better luck with my sign. So when I'm applying the transfer tape, I use about 30 pounds. When I'm applying any sheeting or anything like that, I use 80 pounds. So we have this set up. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to move my camera over to the other side and show you how I do it. Okay, and then working from this side of the table, I just find it easier, maybe because the other side I feel like I'm on the left side or whatever. Anyways, I find it easier for me. So I have my roll set up here in the center, and these are on 36 inch. I just want to use my... What I did is I... See, these are 36 inch on the transfer tape. And what I did is I set them up so that these are kind of almost square. What I did is I set it up so the rolls would be, um, see how the roll goes like this? So I set them up like that so I can, um, so I'm not fighting those rolls so it'll, it'll lay them out nice and flat. So what I do is I'll just slide this under just enough so I, I make sure I get transfer tape on each side. And then I can... Just roll these out. And you want to make sure you pick up your tape on your other side. And all you're going to do 
is that you have your tape on this side, and you're just going to pull that tape, because it will stick to the roller to start with, and then you're just going to pull your tape out. Okay, you can pull it from this side. Nice, even, steady pull, even pressure. And then what you'll do is you'll, um, what I find kind of easy to do is I'll set up my other sides to go in, and what I do is I just line them up. Um, this one is getting off just a little bit down there, so I'm going to reline it up a little bit easier for me so I don't get too crooked. And then what I'll do is I'll take a piece of scotch tape and I'll just tape them down to the other one so I have a nice okay and I'll just tape them on there and then you can continue you can either roll or pull well, once I get it down off of the, the roller and stuff I'll go ahead and I'll trim this uh, side off where it's sticky and everything. And then you can just continue to roll out the sign. A nice, easy, steady pressure. To the end, you'll have to uh, um, pull it out because this has a tendency to want to stick to that metal roller. So now, adjust my camera a little here. I end up with them all nice and covered, no wrinkles. Works out fine, like I said, 30 pounds of pressure is okay. And down here, I did get off a little bit on the roller. You can see the red line shows through a little bit. That's nothing to worry about. That can easily be fixed with a um, some transfer tape, which I have over here. You can just lay out a piece of transfer tape over it to cover that up. And it's not necessarily a big deal. Turn that transfer tape off a little bit. It's not unusual to be off a little bit on some of those. They, they, they'll go in a little crooked and stuff. Let's go ahead and fix it like that. Then, so much easier to work with. You have one piece of transfer tape, you don't have all the little seams and everything turned out nice and even. Like I said, it's pretty important to get your pressure down to about 30 pounds so you're not putting so much pressure on that you're just squeezing everything so tight. And then what I'll do is I'll just flip them over. Love these Fisca um, scissors. And I'll do this, make some trim along the edge. Trim off all the uh, plastic and get all that tape that's sticking. And then you can just start going down carefully with your scissors. Cut out each one. There you have it. Have a nice. Uh, sign that will be easy to make. Uh, no wrinkles in it, easy to adhere to your uh, sign blank. And that's my kind of little trick, little niche that I use for transfer tape application. And what I usually will do when I have these uh, um, 36 inch transfer tapes ready to go, stuff gets sticky. Um, I'll do a whole series at a time. I'll make several sheets. I still have more underneath my table here. I got some street saying, name signs to lay out and various other signs. So when I do set it up, I'll run, like I have two sheets of these and I think I have four sheets of signs to do 
and so I'll probably end up with about 10 sheets of this to roll through here before the day is over. But uh, so I just thought I'd kind of share this with you. If anybody's struggling with transfer tape, here's another option for you. Alrighty, as always, thanks for watching.